Hi, I welcome you all to this session on validating employees group and employee subgroup. In the last sessions, we have created some of the employee group like active and inactive and also we have also created some of the employee subgroups. So, uh, uh, we have defined under that, that uh, under employee subgroup, we have created also that salaried employees and daily wage earners. Okay. So, uh, in these sessions, what we will do, we will assign uh, the validity period for both employee group and employee subgroup. So, I have opened the uh, SAP EG access. So, uh, we have to follow the path, path SPRO, this is the consulting code. So, from that SAP reference IMG, IMG stands for implementing, implementation guide. Okay. So, then we have to click on uh, uh, employee, sorry, that uh, enterprise structure. Then we have to go for assignment. Then under assignment, human resource management. So, we can see this is, the, it has been, uh, the option has been given here validity period for organizational assignments we can click here so now we can get it define validity for employee groups and define validity for employee subgroups so we will start with employee group so uh, we have to go here employee group as i have said uh, in the as we are discussing in the last uh, uh, sessions that it has to be a single digit code or it can be a digit, it can be numeric, it can be uh, that alphabetic also. Okay. That means we can have the options like 0 to 9, that means 10 plus A to Z, 26. 10 plus 26, 36 codes are available here. Since this is a learning system, so we may have uh, multiple of uh, uh, like um, like you know, more number of codes, but in the companies, so so many codes will not be available because em so many employee groups will not be available. It's very simple to remember. So we can go for this new entries. So yesterday we have created uh, two employee group. Okay, we uh, that looked for availability of the code and uh, the codes that were available. Uh, where O and Q. O we will write here O. O for active. We have created yesterday in the last sessions. Okay. So, then we can uh, here we can uh, validate like take for example 01 01 2022. So, here we can write like 31st maximum date 129999. Similarly, another group also we have created like Q. Q stands for inactive. So, those who are inactive. So, uh, we can uh, validate here 0101 Here 31 Then we can go for save. Okay. So, once we save another tier number that uh, we can uh, continue with the tier number, previous tier number that is that uh, we have created for creating personal sub area or we can create here another new, but we will go with this, the existing tier number. Tier means it is transfer request number. Okay. So, uh, this is the actually table, name of the table where data is getting stored. So, we can continue. Okay. So, now data was saved, successful saved. That means we are able to validate two employee groups. One is active, another is inactive. Okay. Uh, then we will look for uh, validating uh, employee subgroup. We will go back. So, this is where the option is available define validity period for employee subgroup. We can execute here. Okay. So, we can uh, uh, here we have to type. So, employee group, employee group is O. Okay. 
employee group is O, then O for active, it has been written here, M O for active, okay. We have just validated like 1, 1, 2022 to 31st, 12, 9, 9, 9, 9. So, we can make new entry here. So, employee subgroup. What are the subgroups we have created in the last sessions? In the last sessions, we have created two subgroups. One for uh, uh, salaried employees, another for daily wage earners. And depending on the requirement of the clients, so uh, more number of groups can be created like uh, probation or we can write our uh, monthly wage earners like uh, we can also create okay. some of the groups or temporary uh, or we can create like this. Okay. So employee subgroup will write 51. 51 for salary we have created so we can here validate like 0 1 0 1 2022 so end date it will be 31 12 9 9 9 9 another group we have created like uh, 52 50 so a daily wage earner we have created okay. then we will create 1 1 2022 to 31st 12 so these are the group for O we are validating to 51 and 52 ok O for active and we have to also validate for Q as well, okay. Q group that is inactive. We can save it. So, we can continue with this. We can continue with this. Okay. So, now data was saved. So, we have, we have been able to successfully validate to employee subgroup to employee group O. O stand for active. So, similarly we have another group like Q, Q for, Q for inactive. Okay. We will continue with this. We will search here Q. Okay. We can continue. We can go for Q for inactive. It is written. Q for inactive. So, we can go for new entries. So, we can hear uh, uh, those uh, uh, salaried who have been inactive, we can go for inactive, okay. Then we can go for 0 01, 0 01, 2022. Here 31st, 12, 9999. Similarly, 52 for 52, employee group 52. So, we can also follow the same path 1 2022. Similarly, 31st 12 9999. Then we can go for save. So, we can continue with that. So, we have been able to successfully save the data. So, this is the way actually we can validate employee group and employee subgroup. Okay. We can go back. So, uh, what are the TR number that we have generated? How, how can we see SC10? Let us see if it can work. Okay, these are the TR number actually we have generated. So far, uh, you know to check uh, uh, the TR number, okay, we can use SC10 as the code number creation of for creation of personal shop area. This is the TR now creation of personal shop area, personal area company code we have created. So uh, basically in this sessions we have discussed this uh, that uh, um, we have validated. 
this active and so employee subgroup as active and inactive and also we have validated employee subgroup as salaried and wage earners daily wage earners okay. so we can uh, for we can <coughs> end the sessions here